The most expensive residential areas in the U.S. are now found in the affluent Coral Gables district in the Miami area, displacing areas in California and New York. Zillow data indicates that although the migration from Democratic-controlled states to Florida and Texas has received a lot of attention since the outbreak, the Sunshine State seems to have outperformed the competition. Florida currently boasts seven of the ten most expensive communities in the country, with Gables Estates and Coral Gables ranking first. The neighborhood of Gables Estates has average home values of $19.14 million. Eight of the top ten positions were occupied by California, six, and New York City, two, in February 2020, the final month before the United States pandemic shutdown. There are now just three in California all located in Malibu and Beverly Hills, and there is no longer any sign of New York City. All around the country, home prices have increased dramatically. The median price increase is the biggest since 1979 because of the scarcity of available homes and the owner's reluctance to give up their low mortgage rates. Gables Estates is not alone in Florida when it comes to neighborhoods in dire need of cash to move in. Other neighborhoods in the same stable include Jupiter's Bears Club, $8.99 million, Miami Beach's San Marino Island, $8.84 million, Coral Gables Old Cutler Bay, $10.22 million, Naples Port Royal, $16.49 million, and Jupiter's Bears Club, $8.99 million. Before the pandemic, a number of celebrities, including Mark Anthony, Pharrell, and Alex Rodriguez, purchased real estate in the area. It's clear that those with extra money to live any place now choose to reside in Florida. The realization that individuals could live wherever they wanted to was brought about by COVID, according to Ron Shuffield, president and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services EWM Realty. Our state sent a message to the world that we were a business-friendly state by the way we handled COVID. That still happens now. The CEO of Spanish Broadcasting System, Rola Larcón, has advertised his property for $70 million, as reported by the Miami Herald. However, some people are priced out of the neighborhood by the high cost of homes. In 2023, sales of single-family homes in the city fell from 814 in 2021 to 425 in 2022, and finally to just 357. The market continues to be supportive of developers, as evidenced by the $1 million townhouses that developers like Ali Rio Torrealba are paying to build. Torrealba remarked, Coral Gables is like a jewel and it's now in the light in front of the entire world. In an effort to launch a $50 million Village of Coral Gables project he has also purchased lands. These wealthy neighborhoods, like Coco Plum and Gables Estates, Contribute to the upholding of Coral Gables' values. Coral Gables' head of economic development, Belkis Perez, is excited that businesses are also purchasing office space in the neighborhood. It's great that any company wants to come to South Florida, she remarked. For that reason, we believe that rising tides raise all ships. That increase in corporate migration is good for everyone. In terms of the housing market, New York City has declined while California has remained relevant. According to Bloomberg, prices in Manhattan have decreased, but those in the other four boroughs are all falling behind the nearby counties in New Jersey and on Long Island. Homes in Manhattan are now selling for slightly more than $1 million on average, a 14.4% decrease from four years ago. Compared to the $1.21 million pricing in February 2020, that is less. As per the Bloomberg report, nearly 30% of Manhattan residents who were seeking a place to live wanted to leave the city.